in Russia and explore Moscow for the next few days. And this is our first stop. It is the viewpoint up on Sparrow Hill, overlooking all of the city of Moscow. We are going to, well one, we took the wrong metro station to get here, but uh, we're kind of going to do our own little tour of Moscow. Figure it out. parades, you name it, it's become more of a central gatherings place for all Moscownians, Moscownians, Moscanites, Moscanites. It's actually home to the Kremlin, which is behind that red wall behind me. That is where the government of Russia is, the president. It's also home to St. Basil's Cathedral, which is that magnificent building over there. The State Museum, which has the history of Russia. We have the gum which is this huge building here, which is the most popular department store in Russia. It's also just a magnificent building. So right now we're inside St. Basil's Cathedral, and we're gonna go look around at some of the artwork and amazing decorations inside. Moscow Metro, which uh, guys and gals, I hope you're excited for. Where are we going? I the would Moscow Mess? No, the Moscow Metro. Yeah, but where are we taking the it to? The Moscow Metro. All the stops with stars on them are the stations that are beautiful and worth uh, taking photos in. And then the other ones are just kind of our sightseeing plan. World. It's a pretty spectacular metro system, and you are going to see why. But first, let's go uh, hop on our train and uh, explore some of the stations. I am literally standing on this photo spot. 
It has told me that I need to stand on the seller spot. See, like the metro knows. This is Kievskaya Station. It is beautiful. I am loving all of the various lighting in the metro station. There is so much light. It's still so airy and bright. Although loud, it is it is quite loud. Well, that was the cheapest sightseeing tour I've ever taken. 75 cents to enter the metro. Arbat Street it is a pedestrian only zone here in Moscow. It's quite long actually. It's a very long street. It kind of leaves from like Red Square area. There are a ton of like restaurants and cafes uh, that you can eat at outside and a whole bunch of souvenir shops. What? Hold on. What is this? A Canadian pizza company. Canadian pizza? Yeah. Where was that? There's a Canadian pizza restaurant. What's Canadian pizza? I don't know. I didn't realize Canadians had like a pizza thing. It's just like poutine on top. Maple syrup flavored maybe. Canadian bacon. I've never seen so many pigeons before in my life. Beef cabbage rolls. Beef cabbage rolls? Beef cabbage rolls. Russian style. Just stopped off for a quick lunch here on Arbat Street, and um, I got myself a little veniniquio, which are these dumplings with potato and mushroom. I had them earlier um, when we first got in, but they are delicious. Veniniquio, that's the Russian word for it. We got our dumplings, oh, and some fried onions on top. Yum, yum, yum. What is that? I actually have no idea. Behind me is one of the Seven Sisters, or the Stalinistic skyscrapers here in Moscow. There are seven of these skyscrapers built in the Stalinistic style. Um, all around Moscow, and this one is actually the Moscow State University. All right, so we're touring Izmailovo, which is kind of like a weird like marketplace where you can buy a bunch of souvenirs, and we're gonna get some lunch because we are very very hungry. All right, my friends, into the red wall we go. It's Kremlin. Treads, and we are currently walking through the various buildings and learning out very quickly where we can and cannot go. We can't really go over there. Uh, that is the armory and that is the Senate. There's lots, there's uh, several guards there, so I'm gonna say those areas are no goes. Um, but we are making our way over to the cathedrals, or I believe our go goes. First sight we've stumbled upon is the Saar Cannon. It is one of the largest and oldest cannons in the world. It was casted in 1586 and it weighs 40 tons. 40 tons. Next up we have the Saar Bell, which is the largest bell in the world. It weighs 202 tons. It was casted of bronze in 1733 to 1735. It's had a lot of misfortunes over the years, um, but a lot of bad luck in the building of it, including this 11 ton chunk that broke off of the bell. Next up, my friends, is Cathedral Square, which, as you guessed it, is a full of cathedrals. This one is the Annunciation Cathedral. It is the home church of Moscow's great princes and later the Russian Tsars. Archangels Cathedral, Patriarch's Palace and Church of the Twelve Apostles. They weren't kidding around here. This is literally a square of cathedrals. We are in the secret gardens inside the Kremlin walls. We are almost finished our Kremlin visit. As you can see, now we have the whole overview of 
the Kremlin area where we just came from, the Cathedral Square behind me. And then 